In uh, the following demonstration, we're going to be using these four items that you're seeing in the picture here on the left is an ozone, O3, and ion generator, uh, which we use as a control to show that the second device, the air ion counter, is operating properly. And we're going to uh, uh, get a reading off of the uh, uh, ion source from uh, the device on the left using the air ion counter. And then we're going to uh, look at the ions being generated by uh, uh, the two uh, pen-like devices that you see on the right. On the left-hand side, we see uh, a, uh, a wand, a uh, zero-point energy wand that uh, is a knockoff wand that was purchased on the Internet uh, for a fraction of the cost of the original Omega wand here on the right. Now the Omega wand, um, as you notice, is a little bit different than the knockoff wand, and we've shown uh, in a separate uh, uh, presentation on this website that uh, the Omega wand weighs 1.8 ounces, and the knockoff wand here weighs 1.5 ounces. We found another wand being sold on the internet that weighs 1.3 ounces. So there is a difference in the weight of the wand, the Omega wand being consistently heavier than the knockoff wand, and uh, the knockoff wands being a little bit different in design, you'll notice that the clip doesn't touch the body of the pen as it does over here, and that the milling here on the original wand, the Omega wand, is different from the smaller milling on the knockoff wand. So again, this wand a little, little sharper toward the end of it, the Omega wand a little blunter, significantly heavier to the touch, uh, and different in its operation. Now, um, the uh, reason for this demonstration simply is that there are sites on the uh, internet which show this knockoff wand next to an ion tester, and uh, we believe that scientifically a device, a solid uh, device such as this should not produce ions unless it is radioactive. So uh, we uh, wanted to subject both wands to the air ion tester to determine, number one, uh, if they are radioactive, because then there would be a concern, and uh, number two, do they actually produce ions, because uh, 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 apparently in this uh, one particular article on the internet, uh, it is showing the production of ions uh, to apparently uh, validate that the wand is doing something, and we want to test that. So uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed with our demonstration. Okay, so uh, in this first demonstration, I'm going to turn on the air ion counter, and we're going to, we're showing right now that uh, that the reading is relatively low 0 0.00 to 0 0.05 and as i pull it closer to the ion generator below us here we will see a significant increase in the amount of ions being produced and right now it's about 8 17 or 18 and sometimes right off the scale okay now pen number 1 is uh, the uh, knockoff pen which was shown to have significant ion generation capabilities and you can see as I get this close to the device you're not seeing anything more than simple background ion generation about 0 to point, uh, point, uh, 0.2 and as I bring the the pen away and to the device again you don't see any generation of ions now let's use the original Omega pen which we also assert does not generate ions. If it did, it would be radioactive. <laughs> and uh, you can see here that uh, it bounces around from 0 to 0.1 or 0.2. And so there is no ability of either the knockoff or the original pen to generate ions. So we've concluded advertisements such as this one that we've seen on the Internet with uh, the knockoff pens being pictured next to an ion tester such as this one with a significant reading of ions are uh, uh, actually uh, uh, fraudulent packaging because none of these devices, either the real or the artificial, generate ions nor should they do so. 